Dealing with Pesticide Spills In this video, we will discuss spill kits and how to deal with pesticide spills. Despite your best efforts, accidents can happen. When the accident involves pesticides, a spill can be a serious problem. Dealing with pesticide spill requires the four C's. Caution, control, contain, and cleanup. Caution. Use caution. Keep yourself safe. Make sure you are wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, also known as PPE before you attempt to clean up a spill. PPE includes safety glasses, a long sleeve shirt, chemical resistant gloves, waterproof boots, long pants, and a waterproof hat. We'll talk more about PPE in a few minutes. Control, Control the spill to stop it from continuing. Identify the source of the spill and stop the flow, such as turning a container back upright, double bagging a leaking granular product, or closing a valve. Contain. Contain the spill to keep it from spreading. You can use containment snakes, pads, or absorbent material to form a ring around the spill. This will stop it from spreading. Absorbent material includes cat litter, wood shavings, or corn cob litter. You might need to combine two or more containment methods, such as absorbent materials and containment snakes. It is very important that the spill not reach any body of water, storm drain, or floor drain. Clean up. Clean up the spill. Do not hose down the spill. Hosing down a spill can make it worse and cause it to spread. There are six steps to cleaning up a spill. Step 1. Start at the outside edges and spread an absorbent material over the spill to soak it up. Work towards the center, continuing until all the pesticide is soaked up by the material. Step 2. Sweep up the spill-soaked material. Use a dustpan and either a shovel or a broom. Most spill kits have a small shop broom and dustpan in them. Most service vehicles have a shovel. Step 3. Put the absorbent material that soaked up the pesticide in a waterproof container. This container must have a tight-fitting lid. Granular spilled material can be placed in a heavy-duty plastic bag. Step 4. Bag up all equipment you use to clean up the spill in heavy-duty plastic garbage bags. This includes the dustpan and the shovel or broom. Step 5. Label the 5-gallon spill kit bucket with two pieces of information. The name of the pesticide and the date of the spill. Step 6. You need to deal with the spill cleanup equipment as soon as possible. The shovel and the dustpan can be decontaminated and reused. Most regular brooms will be too contaminated to reuse so dispose of them with the other spill cleanup materials.
Most spill kit brooms and dustpans are meant to be disposable. So properly dispose of those. We'll talk about how to do this in a moment. Cleaning the shovel and dustpan consists of washing them with soap and rinsing with water. You probably already noticed that you must have a spill kit to complete the four C's. This is one of the most important things you can carry with you. You can put one together yourself or you can purchase one already made. Spill kits are required for all pest control company vehicles in Nevada. When the Nevada Department of Agriculture completes a service truck inspection, they will check to see if you have a spill kit in your truck. Let's talk a little more about what a spill kit should contain. Make sure yours has the following seven items. The telephone numbers for emergency assistance include your local poison control office, the local fire department, and the nearest Nevada Department of Agriculture office. Personal Protective Equipment, or PPE. If you are doing a pesticide application, you should already be wearing PPE. So when a spill happens, you will probably already be wearing long pants, a long sleeve shirt, eye protection, socks, waterproof boots, and a waterproof hat. Just in case you are not already wearing PPE when a spill happens, add the following to your spill kit. Chemical resistance gloves and waterproof boots. Read the labels of the pesticide you are using, as some pesticides may require you to have additional PPE. If so, you should be carrying those items if you are transporting and using the pesticide. Containment snakes, absorbent material such as cat litter, wood shavings, or corn cob litter, plastic bags such as heavy duty garbage bags. These bags should be large enough to hold a shovel, full-size broom, and dustpan. A dustpan, shovel, and broom. The broom and dustpan found in most spill kits are small with short handles, so they can fit inside a five-gallon bucket. Most service vehicles have a shovel. A container with a tight-fitting lid, such as a five-gallon bucket. The container should be able to hold one gallon of spilled pesticide and the absorbent material used to soak up the spill. It should also have room for any contaminated PPE from cleaning up the spill. If you purchase a spill kit, it will probably already come in a five gallon plastic bucket with a tight fitting lid. Once you clean up the spill, you need to properly dispose of the pesticide and the equipment you used. The Nevada Department of Agriculture can help you. The Nevada Department of Agriculture has a safe pesticide waste disposal program and it's free. You can drop off waste pesticides and the absorbent material used to clean up the spill, free of charge. They will take care of the rest. But you must call first. You need to set up a drop-off date and time. To do this, call 775-353-3717. You cannot drop off materials at the Nevada Department of Agriculture office after hours, as that is considered illegal dumping and can get you in a lot of trouble. 
So call first. Spill reporting. The last thing to think about is reporting the spill. The question is, do you have to report the spill? The answer depends on the size of the spill. If the concentrated pesticide spilled is more than one gallon of liquid, or more than four pounds of dry weight, then yes, you must report it. And you must report it within 24 hours. Call the Nevada Department of Agriculture Environmental Services Branch at 775-353-3715. If the spill is less than one gallon of liquid, or less than four pounds of dry weight, then no, you don't need to report it.